Okay, y'all. So, as you all know, I have been stepping in with my grandsons for school. So, so far, we're getting used to, in the mornings, we get up, we say our prayers. We get ourselves together. Say our prayers. Then we um, begin to um, say our prayers. We say our prayers. My first thing is to to what's important, school. So we get in school <laughs> organized. We're coming together with the schooling somewhat. Because every now and then, you know, I have to stick my head in and make sure that they're paying attention. Wherein I was hovering over them. So I told myself, stop hovering over them. Let them sit in front of the computer. Let them listen to their teacher. Let them follow directions. I was sitting there and I was trying to make them follow directions. But I said, no. Allow them to get into the computer and hear the teacher and you get out of focus. Because what was happening, I was sitting there and it was focusing on me. And, you know, I see it kind of made my job a little bit less stressful. I was stressing my own self out and stressing them out. Because I'm like, you got to listen. You got to get this. You need to write it out. <laughs> I told myself, fall back. Fall back. So I did fall back. And so now we're doing good. But guess what? Now I got a pre-kindergartner coming in, which is my four-year-old granddaughter, Jazzy, because I need her over here because her mama got the three, the seventh grader, the fifth grader, and the fourth grader, and she tried to keep up with them, and Jazzy is just in the way. So I told her, I said, just send her over here. She's pre-kindergarten. She's missing out on her pre-kindergarten stage because of the COVID. So I said, just send her here. Put her book bag on her back, pack her lunch, tell her she's going to pre-kindergarten, and the teacher is Nana Burke. Nana slash Burke. You know, Miss Burke, however you want to explain that to her, but give her that chance to come out of the house in the morning with her book bag, pack her lunch, and you see what I'm saying? And I said, I'm going to set her up in the kitchen. I'm going to set her in the front of a computer and, you know, put a YouTube on pre-kindergarten, something, something, have her some paper and pencil and get something done. But this is what Nanas do. Nanas do this. And so I want to say that, you know, someone told me that I was blessed because of that. One of my nieces and my sister told me what my niece said. And she said, it's an honor that I have that privilege to touch their life that I can, you know, be a part of their learning as a grandmother. And I didn't think about it like that. But it is a privilege. It is a privilege to see what they're learning, to be a part of their learning. They're going to remember these days that in first grade and in pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, I had to, my Nana was my teacher. My Nana was the one that made sure um, that I got my lesson and stuff. So, yeah, it, it's a blessing. It is a blessing. You know, at first I was trying to adjust to it, but, you know, it really is a blessing. And so I think I'm adjusting they are adjusting, and we're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good, but I tell you, I can't wait to Fridays. Fridays, I be saying, y'all going home. Because, <laughs> you know, they stay with me during the week, but I say, y'all going home. But I think Fridays, it makes me appreciate my weekend so much. You know, because life is different when you got them running around here at night. I'm up at night going and checking in the other room, making sure they're good, making sure. Because that six-year-old do not sleep. He do not sleep all night. I don't know what it is with him. But you know what? Again, Nana's love. I I I'm, I thank God for my grandchildren. I thank God for this experience to really be a part of their education. So a lot of times I feel I take on more because I think I got to make it happen. I got to make it happen. I got to make sure. I had them laugh and I said, I'm scared to miss a day out of school because I'm thinking something I'm going to miss. So I told them, I said, don't tell me I ain't in first grade in kindergarten. Don't tell me. <laughs> but you know what? I thank God for the opportunity. I thank God for the chance to be in their life in that way. You know, everybody don't have that opportunity. Everybody don't have that chance. But I do. And I'm so grateful for it. So y'all pray for us. Pray for us, okay? One day I'm going to walk around and show y'all a day in Nana school. <laughs> All right, y'all be blessed. <laughs>